we can actually begin the process of photographing dreams. This was considered pure science fiction. Look at the movie with Leonardo DiCaprio called uh, Inception. It turns out that the first steps in this direction have been taken already in Kyoto and at Berkeley. What you do is you put the patient in an MRI scanner and he falls asleep. The brain is then scanned, creating 30,000 dots. A computer analyzes the 30,000 dots of a sleeping brain and reconstructs the image of what he's dreaming about. Now, I've seen these pictures. They're pretty crude. You see a picture of a human, and obviously he's thinking about and dreaming about a human. But one day, we may be able to refine this technique so that when you wake up in the morning and you hit the play button of a computer, you see the dream that you had last night. They'll go to sleep with the headband on and the chin strap. The chin strap will measure the speech. The headband will measure the images in the brain. They'll sleep in pajamas that have built-in sensors to capture muscle movements. And all this will be streamed to your computer or your, or your phone or your iPad or whatever and converted into a movie. And then you can upload that to YouTube and uh, see if you get a whole bunch of likes. So while all these other big scientists from all over the world are busy trying to invent a dream machine that can help us get into our minds and record the dreams we dream while we're sleeping, this anonymous, rarely known scientist had gone ahead of everyone else and invented something. I have been working on a way to record my dreams and I have finally achieved it. I've been working on a way to record my dreams and I have finally achieved it. So this man has been able to invent something that actually almost perfectly video recorded his own dream. And you're about to witness that right now. But before we see the video of his dream, which he recorded with the device he invented, I want us to listen to what he said about the dream because he has a recollection of that dream. So let's see how much he was able to recollect about the dream before we actually see the video recording of that dream. Pardon me as I cannot recall the dream in its entirety. In the dream, I remember being studied by a scientist who explained to me that they were creating the next evolutionary breed of human. I remember being told that I had too many discrepancies and that my inability to detach was a problem that had to be dealt with. I was also told that in order to evolve, I had to be violently killed. According to the scientist, it was the only way that they could reach my inner self. And in parentheses, it says, don't know what that meant. They told me that after I wake from life onto death, that that would be the beginning of my life from an involved state. I was to be erased from this platform to move on to the next level. The rest of the dream was very confusing and also not too clear. Hopefully, I could perfect this device to be able to record high quality footage. So in this dream, going by his own recollection, a scientist was telling him in the dream that they were working on creating a new evolutionary breed of humans. A new evolutionary breed. Which is why we keep showing you videos. If you notice some of my videos in the recent times, it's been about some weird individuals on our earth today. You saw the so-called false prophet and you saw the Javier guy, and now there's another one again from 30, 36 or something. There are different, different weird souls, and all these things are not by accident. These things are happening because they have already created this new evolutionary breed of humans, and there are many of them in our midst today. That's what the scientist was telling him in the dream. Now, he went further to say that the scientist also told him that they, he had to evolve and for him to be able to evolve that he had to be violently killed to be able to evolve and this took me back immediately to when oprah winfrey hosted a catholic for about three months or something when they were doing their new age stuff on live tv welcome to week number three of our new earth web class and again i um thank you eckhart tolle thank you for joining us as we bring students and seekers together to discuss our latest book club selection, 
at Cart Tolley's A New We Earth. did something last week that was uh, unprecedented. You said it's never been done before on television where you just sit there in silence. I, I, and I thought a lot of people responded to the sense of connection from that. So you want to do that again? Yes. Let's do that again. Yes. And Eckhart Tolle was saying that we either evolve or we die. And then you go on to say, and I quote, that humanity is now faced with a stark choice, mm -hmm. evolve or die. Mm -hmm. My question to you is this. Mm. When you say evolve or die, do you mean that literally, and it sounds like you might, or do you mean that metaphorically, which I hope? Evolve or die refers to humanity as a whole, whether humanity survives as a species. Even if, even if humanity did not survive as a species, no gain in consciousness is ever lost within the totality of consciousness. And now look at this man saying that in the dream, he was told that the only way he could evolve is to be killed violently. But let me even tell you how I understand the evolve that they talk about, which is the evolution of mankind that they're looking for. They have to accomplish that through DNA manipulation. So you have to actually become a merger or a mixture of a normal man and machine or a mixture of a man and electronics. You, are either, you either become a, a complete electronics or you become a robot man. This is what they mean by evolution. It simply means that you have to lose your humanity. You cannot continue to be a full-blown organic DNA human being and still say that you have gone through evolution. No, you have to lose that organic thing about you. You have to lose that naturality about you for you to be evolved. So evolution for these guys means losing who we are. Keep your thoughts on that as we go forward. Now, as he went further, he says that hopefully he can perfect this particular machine so he could record perfect images of his dream. He actually recorded, even the ones he couldn't explain, he recorded all of it. And this is the first time something like this is happening in human history. Okay, so this one right here caught my attention. Erase, erase. Remember, when he was talking, when the man was trying to explain his dream, okay, he said that he was told that he, he was going to be erased from this platform. Now, someone might think, okay, that erase is basically the erase that he saw in that dream, and which could actually be true, right? But when I saw that, there was something that happened to my spirit. I instantly felt, hmm, something is not right. How about if this is what the devil does when we have very important dreams that need to be remembered and at the end of the day, all that is erased from your mind. You, your conscious mind is telling you that I had a dream and this dream was very traumatic and this dream was important. I mean, your senses tells you, your senses tell you that, look, you actually had that dream. But you want to remember even just one little thing that happened. You can't. What if this erase is basically how the devil always erases important dreams from our minds? This is the first time anyway that we are seeing anything that happened in our dreams. And now we are seeing erase, erase from the very first dream ever video recorded in human history. What is that erase for? 
everything is looking like science now. But I'm telling you, these things are deeply spiritual. And this is to instruct you, to make all of us understand that there are a lot of manipulations that happen in our dreams and we need to, guide, we need to stand up and pray. The Bible says pray in season and out of season. Let us see the rest of the dream. Somebody sitting on a couch in the background. You see that? Like, almost like an interview. But not like a regular human, though. Look. Look how it's moving. You see that shit? It's a little weird. Looks like a person in a black jacket almost, but I can't tell. Uh, the whispering is freaking me out, though. I don't like that shit. It's like whispers. But that looks like a heart. It looks like somebody sitting in a chair dying, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, all that I can tell is a person walking towards the light. But, uh, you can see that very clearly, right? Okay, so from the dream, you can see for yourself that even the scientists he talked about, you can see the scientists there and all kinds of stuff going on. There are people that appeared as if they were dying, they were killing people or something like that. All kinds of stuff. Now, no matter how blurry the images are, at least we're able to see people, to see humans. Can you imagine? We saw images that you can relate to. Now, all these other scientists who have so much budget and have done so much as well, they are planning, they're working on stuff. None of them has been able to get even a thousand miles close to what this man has done right now. Most of them, they just take all these gadgets and plug it on somebody's head and all you get is just little blurry images of like colors and stuff like that. Just like the same way you do brain MRI or something like that or you just take your, put somebody's brain under the machine and they start showing you stuff. That's all we get. Nobody has actually been able to get like a motion picture of what happens in our dream except this man. So here it is in front of you. Dreams are now being recorded. All these things are happening because this is where we are on earth today. I have another video that I'm going to put together very soon to help us understand that every single thing happening right now was programmed to happen by this time. And as we go further, it gets even more bizarre. Look at all the videos we've been sharing with you. Things are going to get more bizarre. You're going to be walking on the street and the, the person walking beside you is a spirit. He could decide to move from one dimension to the other. The other time I was sharing a, a particular video with us some years ago where I was talking about how many genders do we have on earth and someone said two genders and I said no that's not true. Facebook USA recognizes about 50 different genders and this was about five or six years ago by now it would have been more. Facebook users in the UK, Facebook UK recognizes about 71 different genders and one of them is called gender fluid or something like that or two spirits. I don't know how they pronounce it but the way that gender functions is it will be moving in, in this dimension and it could seamlessly melt into the next dimension and you can be looking at it at the person and suddenly you won't see the person again and they tell you it's a gender and they will find a scientific name for it but this is spirit that's why when we were talking about Javier Javier is doing things that I know spirits to do but they, they call it well, time travel. They always find a name for all these things. And that's what you are going to be confronted with as we go forward in this life. Our days on earth are numbered. The time is drawing ever so close. I'm not saying this like when I say things to you like this, please bear with me and know that I'm not trying to scare anybody. Of what use is that to me? I'm trying to tell you the truth of what I know. When I share with you the video I just talked about that I'm going to share with us, you will find out that every single thing is programmed to happen this way. It is us walking ourselves slowly to the end of all things as we know it. Draw closer to your God. Mend your ways. Read your Bible. Get closer and closer and closer to God by the day. Be inquisitive. Stop playing around. Stop wasting your time on frivolities. Get serious with life. I'm serious. I'm telling you this. Because the time is drawing close. 
May God help all of us.